Pokemon Y, Wi-Fi Battle, versus um, a friend of mine, Kim Plays Pokemon, follow her on Twitter or subscribe to her channel. I'll have links to both in the description below. And I'm going to start off this battle with the Greninja in Scizor versus her Azumarill in Sabalai. Use a Bullet Punch immediately on the Azumarill and make her waste her berry. I assume she had a berry set, um, usually what I end up seeing with Azumarill's. And after I use a Night Slash on Sabalai, you see a Belly Drain come out, which lowers its health even more. Knowing this, and knowing that I have my own Azumarill and a, um, and my other Pokemon in the back, I'm going to, actually I forgot what the Pokemon was, I'm going to Bullet Punch on the next turn after the style fight goes through. And that eliminates the mini, which is, uh, Azumarill is the biggest threat to my team, which well, I think it has huge power based on the fact that it uses Belly Drum. I am not completely sure, so I go for my, but a little bit bulkier, just in case he uses Aqua Jet, which he doesn't. Um, the Azumarill faints, and in its place comes out, um, something I usually don't see. Oh. Yeah, that, that, uh, foul play there is because my scissors maxed out attack, that, um, knocks out my scissor. Let's, um, hmm. Now I'm gonna send out my Gardevoir here. That's gonna be my Mega Evolution. And I got a lucky break here because when it comes out, um, it traces actually Sabalai's Prankster, which allows me to set up a Calm Mind in the first, m first move of the next turn. If I hadn't been able to do that, I would have probably lost this battle right then and there, because Gardevoir is the crux of my four. So I'm going to Mega Evolve to Mega Gardevoir, use Calm Mind. In doing that, I raise my Special Attack and Special Defense, where I can essentially on the next turn tank him with Dazzling Gleam. I'm going to use Aqua Jet. Hit the Sabalai and get a decent amount of damage. This is going to force my opponent to use Recover next turn, um, which will actually end up helping me because I can still double up on it using Dazzling Gleam and hit the Slurp at the same time. Sabalai recovers and I'm just going to watch what unfolds here. Recover. So he's going to go up to a little bit over half. Aqua Jet is going to hit the Slurp up. And Dazzling Gleam is going to knock out Sabalai and do a lot of damage to Slurpluff. Slurpluff is almost dead from that. Because of the Calm Mind boost from the Prankster ability, I was able to boost it up where I can do most of its HP in one shot. I get hit by a Dazzling Gleam myself. It doesn't do too much damage to either my Azumar or my Gardevoir. So I'm just going to pop out um, another Dazzling Gleam. Now, my opponent uses Protect on the Charizard, I believe. Uh, after the sun comes out, and that's gonna prolong the battle another couple turns because I did not expect that on the Charizard Y. So I'm gonna use Aqua Jet on the Charizard, that's gonna protect itself, and I'm gonna use Dazzling Gleam to protect the Charizard, but the Slurp Puff is gonna take um, enough damage to knock it out. And from there on, I'm just going to Aqua Jet, which will do a decent amount of damage and then finish it off with Guard of War. So I just did about a third damage there. It's an to Solar Beam to knock out my Azumarill one turn based on that Drought ability. And after that, the only thing left is, um, is that Charizard, so I'm just going to Dazzle and Gleam it. I, I, no, I use Psychic, sorry. I use Psychic on it, and that knocks it out. And yeah, and that's the Wi-Fi battle. It was a really good battle. I hope the battle are again. She was pretty good. Um... And I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks, and have a good one, everyone.